All right, uh, good morning. Hello, everybody. Um, this week, I did some F1 sketches, F1 car sketches. So these are mostly ballpoint pen, except for this giant marker one, um, just on regular bond paper. Um, and this week, let's take a look. I tried to break down F1 cars to a relatively simple form um, and spent some time kind of fleshing those forms out, right? So understanding sort of where the wheels are at, what that body actually looks like, looks like between the wheels. My kids asked me to sketch one in, I think, like a minute. So it's about the fastest I can draw an F1 car now. These are just little shapes, right? Trying trying to fit the, the form in space, sort of understand it, play with it a bit. This is sort of right behind the cockpit, right? Trying to understand that area, how it narrows as it comes between the wheels, how it pops up a little bit for your head, and then air intakes on the side, right? So this is looking from the rear looking forward at the vehicle. A bit of a little orthographic view. Um, this one I started with a side view and then just translated it to a top view, right? So for anything like this, any type of orthographic drawing, anytime you draw it in one view, right? It sort of sets up where those lines will fall in an, in another, you know, what you'd call like a, an orthographic view, right? A dead side view dead top view, something like that. And then you can use those to translate into 3D. Now this is not a great sketch. There's there's a bit of a spacing issue. I think the issue is I ran out of paper. <laughs> so the car feels a little shorter than it should. It should be stretched out a little bit. Um, but you know, if you're interested in orthographic views, that's just trying to simplify the wheel from maybe something more complex like this that you might see in this type of sketch, right? And then saying, okay, if you took it down a notch, maybe it's just a flat cylinder. And then if you went down even a notch before that, maybe it's just a flat ellipse, you know, kind of sitting on a, on a stick or something. So these ones, my little checkerboard wheels, um, instead of drawing wheels, if you struggle with, with getting those ellipses right, and actually making those shapes. Um, this was a little trick, right? So instead of trying to set up an ellipse, it's just a flat plane and then sort of extruded back in space, right? You find out where the other wheel would be. Um, so if the ellipses are, are hurting you, if they're, if they're uh, making it hard to sketch, right? Try something maybe a little simpler. And then I just put a checkerboard on it because, I don't know, a little race flag or something. That's a, that's a decent example of line weight. I know this is a tiny little sketch, um, but when we talk about line weight, right, the weight of the line, the heaviness, the thickness, the darkness of it, right? This is a pretty good range from like basically nothing existing on the front end of this um, back to having some pretty good contrast, some pretty well-defined forms, a little shadow underneath it. Um, it's, not, it's not what I'd say is like a beautiful sketch, but it's just a good example of, of range of line weight that you can keep in a single pen sketch. Same type of thoughts, these, I'm kind of working backwards in time, right? As I sketch these up, you're seeing some of the newer stuff at the end um, and then older stuff as I go deeper. So some of this is just setting up where wheels live in space, right? Trying to understand basic proportion. This is that same area behind the driver. Um, same kind of study, again, looking forward in car. I was trying to figure out how it came back through the wheels. That's what this little study is. Simple, again, pretty simple forms. F1 cars are new to me, right? I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't get to sketch F1 cars every day. Um, so a lot of this work in the beginning is just breaking down the form into something simple. Same thing again, right here, I'm trying to understand that relationship and this, now it's kind of funny, like looking back, it, it looks so huge, right? Like this should be narrowed, this whole center portion should drop, um, but it's, you know, none of the stuff that I knew at the beginning, so fine. I looked at some historical cars too, I think out of the 80s mostly. So none of these are like copies of cars. That might be Lando Norris's car actually. But, um, you know, they're, they're simplified shapes, but if they look a bit retro, that's probably why some of them look that way. Again, sort of just breaking this down. Same area. I guess I really struggled with this area. <laughs> I kept sketching it over and over. There you go. Decent line weight on these, pretty dark. I was trying to work with ellipses. So these, I think I went over with an ellipse tool, even though they look so scratchy, I went in like once or twice just to clean up that edge. Uh, same thing. 
that one was cool. It's a bit of a fish-eyed perspective, right, where it really feels like it warps out and stretches a bit. I like that sketch. Same thing. Here you can see where it's just a flat plane that I'm using, as opposed to trying to build up the whole wheel, right? Like, that's actually a pretty decent contrast, right? Where on the front, you know, this front wing is not something you'd probably ever build anyway, but it's, it's just for when you're trying to figure out kind of where things live in space, it's a good little way to do it quickly um, if you're struggling with this. It's another fisheye, kind of dramatic shot, right? Like sitting just below the horizon. You can see some of these struggly, struggle proportionally. And then some of them actually kind of look pretty cool, so. Not bad, another plan view or orthographic view, right? Just a dead top view. I kind of like that, that's not bad. It's an interesting spoiler. Probably not functional, but that's okay. These are just little cast shadow studies. So like, as I, again, I'm working backwards, right? So these are some of the earlier ones where I was trying to break it down into basic components, right? So like wheels, whatever this, you know, front wing. It's not a wing, but the front portion that attaches to that front wing. And then again, this kind of portion right behind the driver. There's another one. We already looked at those. I was like, oh, I like that sketch, but we just looked at those. Uh, same thing, right? So you can tell as I go backwards, the proportions start to shift a bit, right? To where they're not quite long enough. But again, it's it's less of a less of a how much does this look exactly like an F1 car and more just it was all kind of practice. So there you go. Huge wide tires in the rear. The spoiler that stretches all the way across and then just floats. It doesn't have to attach in the future. And these are some of, I think, the earliest pages you can tell because they're, you know, I used the other half for something else and then I ripped it off. Uh, but same type of study, this little double wing in the front. Kind of interesting. Yep. There's something important on the bottom of this page. Uh, that's kind of an interesting view. You can tell I did it once and I got it wrong. And then I was trying to do it again. Started off with some side views. Again, this is back in time, right? So this is almost more car-like than um, than F1 car-like, you know. This, I think I was trying to focus on the section in here, um, or at least think about it a bit more, right? So as that shape, you know, for your head or helmet cut out here, as that goes back in space, how does that change, get smaller? What do those surfaces do as they wrap around, open up for the air intake? Yeah, again, this is a bit more car-like. It's almost like a robo-racer or something um, with this front view. And then this tipped view, and I think I cleaned that one. Yeah, I put better proportions. They got a little better. I narrowed out, again, the center section. Okay. Again, another decent example of line weight here, right? Like how dark you're going, you're going. How dark I'm going on the air intake. Um, it really pulls your eye and focuses, right? That contrast created between the dark, dark of the pen and the bright white of the paper. Your eye's just naturally drawn to areas of high contrast. Some basic shapes. Um, and yeah, this is probably, you know, page one or two. Um, these are pretty quick. Just starting out, there you go. And then I tried to tighten them up. So yeah, so I did this, this page first. Uh, maybe not first, first, but I did this page. And then if you look, it might be hard with the flip, but like I took these sketches, right? And then actually tried to tighten them up a bit. So you can see, you can see like how off it is in the beginning when I first started this, but um, that's a good study too, right? You can do kind of a quick scratchy sketch, flip it over and tighten it up. Um, and that's, I think one of the last ones I did actually. Um, anyway, it was a good, it was a good week um, of sketching. Good week of sketching. Learned a lot about sketching F1 cars. Um, there are a few that I do like, right? A few that jump out. I think these ones were cool. Kind of the dramatic fish eye. Um, anyway, give it a try. See if it works. If anything helps you out from this video, let me know. I'll post more of these in the future. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Keep sketching.